Published, 1923 the 11th of April 2020, Updated, 1923 the 11th of April 2020 Holly Humor Further six people have died at Ipswich Hospital, after testing positive for coronavirus. Picture, Sarah Lucy Brown Argent The number of patients who have died in Ipswich, Colchester and West Suffolk hospitals after testing positive for coronavirus is now more than 100. The deaths of a further nine people at Ipswich, Colchester and West Suffolk hospitals were announced earlier today, bringing the total number to 107 since the crisis began. More, seven more coronavirus-related deaths at Tipswich and Colchester hospitals Six people, aged in their 90s, 80s and 60s, died at Ipswich Hospital in the last day and one patient in their 80s died at Colchester Hospital. At West Suffolk Hospital a further two people who were in their 70s and 90s, died after testing positive for coronavirus. Nick Hume offered his condolences to the families of the seven people who died at Ipswich and Colchester hospitals after testing positive for coronavirus. Picture, Sarah Lucy Brownell of the patients had underlying health conditions. There have now been 51 deaths at Colchester Hospital, 43, at Ipswich, and 13 at West Suffolk. Over the last 24 hours another 35 people have tested positive for COVID-19 in Suffolk, taking the total up from 360 to 395. In Essex there has been a rise of 99 cases, taking the county-wide total from 1,232 to 1,331. At home shouldn't mean at risk. If you or someone you know is suffering from hashtag domestic abuse, isolation rules do not apply. Police response and support services remain available. Find support, https colon slash slash t dot co slash tjllwt or no call 999 if you are in immediate danger. Hashtag you are not alone, Department of Health and Social Care, Edgegov Uke, April 11, 2020 more, 917 more patients die in the UK after testing positive for coronavirus Another two patients have died after testing positive for the virus at the Fryatt Hospital in Harwich. Across the east of England there have now been 5,302 cases of COVID-19 and nationwide the number continues to rise. Home Secretary Breeti Patel hosted the daily coronavirus briefing at Downing Street and announced a public awareness campaign to support those at risk of domestic abuse. The government has pledged £2 million to domestic abuse helplines and online support after charities reported a surge in activity since social distancing measures were announced three weeks ago. The online campaign carrying the hashtag hashtag you are not alone is aiming to reassure anyone affected by domestic abuse that there is support available. Sandra Hawley, chief executive of Refuge, said, What is needed now, more than ever, is to ensure every woman experiencing domestic abuse is aware of the confidential support available. We hope the government's campaign will reach the tens of thousands of people experiencing domestic abuse, helping send the message, you are not alone. Join the Suffolk Coronavirus Updates Facebook group Ems Patel also addressed criticism over the deaths of 19 NHS workers who tested positive for COVID-19 after claims the government has not made enough personal protective equipment, PPE, available to them. The Home Secretary was asked twice if she would apologize to NHS staff and their families over the lack of necessary PPE. Ms Patel said, I'm sorry if people feel that there have been failings. I will be very, very clear about that. But at the same time, we are in an unprecedented global health pandemic right now. It is inevitable that the demand and the pressures on PPE and demand for PPE are going to be exponential, and of course we are trying to address that as a government. More, all the latest news on coronavirus if you value what this gives you, please consider supporting our work. Click the link in the yellow box below for details. Let's block ads. Why?